So this week I'm making Super Ninja Donnie from the 2012 series, the Tales of the TMNT season at the end there. And these I made when I was making Mikey and they're just some little pieces of armor made out of millipite. And some of them are good, I can use them, I'm just sanding it up to make it nicer and fit better and smooth and sharp, I guess. Now these are how I made some of those other molds. Um, but I'm gonna use epoxy sculpt, but that's like a carton of milk or juice when you pull the tab off after you unscrew the top. And it's a great size and uh, holds the mold and it comes out easy because it's plastic. And I just kind of squish it down in there so it fills the circle indent. But this one, I added a lip on the edge because he's got the one shoulder pad that I think it's on this side, kind of sticks out a bit and has a lip that's white. Then in the piece I cut off, that's still a perfect circle, pretty much. So I fill those for extra pieces, because as I have the epoxy sculpt out and mixed together, I have to use it. But then I heated them up in some recently boiled water, so it's easier to cut the um, belt off without ripping it too bad. So I can glue it back on when I want to put it back on. And I cover everything in a matte acrylic varnish. It's by Liquitex. Uh, it's great because it works on plastic. I use it all the time on these toys. And I went with a bright green. This green happens to be a satin green. It's a lot like this, but this green's not satin. It's, I don't know, cotton and polyester. But this is a new shirt. I released them like two weeks ago and I had to like build up for like two months because it took me so long. And I had uh, four stores spread across the world. So the shipping would come fast and but then it turned out that that store didn't work and then I spent a couple days, I couldn't fix it. And so I went with um, something else, but this is a burnt umber and I'm using a toothpick because I just want to get in the cracks and the gaps in his chest there. But I closed the, that store and reopened my old store, which the it's good, but the shipping takes a long time. So that link will be down in the description, but, um, yeah, but know that it takes a long time to get it or you can like pay extra for uh, faster. That's why I stopped using that company and I spent money and time to make a better store but then it didn't end up working, so yeah, sorry. <clears throat> but if you want to support, help support the show, you can check that out or if you like this shirt and want to wear dope shirts that no one has or has ever seen before. Now I'm dry brushing uh, raw sienna over the shell all around and then I dry brush a daffodil yellow all around. And I do, now I'm going on the shell and a little bit on the skin to, yeah, lighten up his face. So the paint, it was a satin bright green. I like the color but I don't want it to be shiny so I doll it a little with the daffodil yellow and then bring out all the details on the back of his shell there that uh, really picks them up. But then I wanted to add a little green so I just dry brush a bit of hunter green and that kind of picks up more on where the daffodil yellow was, the lighter spots. And uh, now I move on to spackling just because I forgot when I had the epoxy sculpt out I would have liked to do the knee pad here but I forgot so spackling it'll dry in like 20 minutes and I just sculpt it well just kind of get it on there in about the shape and then with I wet my finger a little bit and I can just smooth it over and it works good and it's quick but now it's been about 24 hours and I pop them out of the molds and the ones in the like round mold they come out nice and round and shiny it's perfect and then I have a black it's black acrylic mixed with black acrylic primer and it was from when I did uh, Mikey last week, just left over. And I'm covering all the black spots with that. Well, at least spots that are already on him. His wraps on his feet and his pads. I'm going to paint that pad black. I mean silver later. Well, the front of it. But then I do the mask in the black. And he's got the, got the war paint. So I do that as well. And then these are little bombs and I put a little piece of epoxy sculpt on the top of they're just uh, push pins and uh, cut piece of the point off. Now I have a white primer mixed with some gray primer. It's just an old uh, 
paint thing and then I cover the white balls because I'm going to paint them again and they're super slippery so the orange paint wouldn't have stuck to them and now I have silver and he's got some spikes and then the one knee pad is metal so I paint that silver and I'm going to add a push pin to that but first I dry brush some of the other black parts with the silver and then go to orange and paint this orange and because it's round and small it's hard to keep a hold of yeah so I have so I have hockey stick tape now and I'm just cut some strips and wrap them around in the spots where I wanted some black wraps then I'm ready to cover everything that I painted in the same matte acrylic varnish and that's just gonna seal everything up so it doesn't get scratched or while I'm working or in the future when I move them around if I move them around and I still have to find a place for these guys I might do raft next week or I might do something different and do raft the week after but I use a fine liner to do some lines on the elbow pad and then to mark about the center of uh, that knee pad and then I use it's a thumbtack and I pushed in to get a little bit of a hole and then I cut off most of the spike and then glued it down. And these are metal jump rings and they're just small metal rings that I glue to his elbow pads because he's got some circles on the elbow pad like metal. One of them I wasn't paying attention and I glued it on the side instead of the center by accident. I mean I meant to do that. And then I put some suede lace as like spacers and then glued the elbow pads to that and then I put a little piece of slip, suede lace on each of those uh, bombs that he has and so that way I can stick the suede lace to the belt otherwise it would just fall off eventually or wouldn't to stick with the super glue as well as I would have liked but that's him in the at the drawing board and then he makes the suit and puts it on and um, but really I did it but it's I don't need to mention that I guess but um so thanks a lot for watching and until next week remember always keep your head up peace